So let's say we want to sketch y is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. So in this case, if I'm given a quadratic where I'm not told whether it factorises or not, my instinct is to go for the quadratic formula. So I'm going to go straight into the quadratic formula with this problem. So, x is equal to minus b, which is positive 5, plus or minus b squared, which is 25, take away 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 4, square rooted, all over 2a, which is 6. So let's simplify this problem. So we've got 5 plus or minus. Now here we've got 25 take away 4 times 3 times 4. So that's take away 48. Okay, so 48. Uh, 25 take away 48 is uh, 23. So minus 23. All over 2a, which is 6. And this is where the problem comes in. And the problem has come in with this. Because we can't square root a negative number without bringing in complex numbers and imaginary roots, which we don't do at this stage, because we can't square root a negative number and get a real answer, that must mean that because the quadratic formula has failed, that there are no real roots. And that means if there are no real roots, then the curve does not cross the x-axis. So, we can be led to assume that the curve must be totally above the x-axis in order because the number in front of the x-squared is positive. So I know that the curve has that shape. So really all we need to do now is identify as to which side of the y-axis the vertex should be. And that would come through um, completing the square of finding the coordinates of the vertex. So if we do that, y is equal to, take the 3 out of the first two terms, so x squared minus 5 thirds x plus 4. Complete the square on what's inside the bracket, so x minus 5 sixths, so half of the 5 thirds is 5 sixths, squared, take away 25 over 36, the square of 5 sixths, plus 4 on the outside. So this is equal to 3 lots of x minus 5 sixths squared. Multiply the 3 by this term, so minus 75 over 36. We've got that plus 4 still on the outside. Now I'm going to rewrite the 4 in 36, so that's uh, 144 over 36, so 4 lots of 36 is 144. So 144 take away 75 is uh, 69, pretty sure. So uh, 69 of 36, yeah that's right, okay and then divide, that can be simplified down, uh, divide through by uh, 3, so we're going to have 23 over 12. And so the coordinates of the vertex is at 5 sixths, 23 twelfths, so somewhere over this side, and so the curve must look something like this. So 5 sixths on the x-axis, 23 twelfths on the y-axis, and we know that it crosses through the y-axis at positive 4. So what we need to learn from this is that the quadratic formula failed because the value underneath the square root symbol was negative. And that meant that there were no real roots. And what we're going to find is that in the next video, next set of videos, is that this piece underneath the square root sign of the quadratic formula has its own name and will give us that much more information 
about the quadratic curves.